All right, hi everybody. Um, I am doing um, dot painting with a Q-tip. So um, I picked this one because um, I remember doing it in school. Um, they We did it to learn about pointillism. Um, and we talked about George Surratt and she um, helped us remember that by saying um, Surratt the dot. And um, so what I have here, it's really hard to set up a camera by yourself. Um, I just put some paint on a paper plate. Um, for this one, I just chose yellow. Um, I found a cutout of a star. So I kind of just traced those. You can do just a painting in general with just dots. Um, I got on Pinterest and found um, these pictures where it kind of just faded, the dots kind of faded out. They were really thick near the shape and then they faded out. I thought that would be neat to do with stars. I doubt I get this whole thing finished by the time this video is over. So you just dip the paint in the, with the Q-tip, no, dip the Q-tip with the paint and then um, fill in the picture. Um, you can see here. Um, obviously you can make them really dense or <laughs> you can make them, um, really spread out. It depends on what you're looking for. Um, you could shade in other colors. Um, Googling dot painting, there's so many different options. I saw one and it was water and they did, um, blues and greens together. Um, they put the blue in first and then let that dry. And then put the green in and it made it, you know, appear more like a sea foam and waves um, to make it a little more realistic. Um, working with little kids, I don't, you know, you're probably going to go for something a little more like whimsical. Um, a lot of dot painting I found was with um, autumn trees. So it was a lot of times they would just paint in the base of the tree and then um, dot in the different colors, the reds, yellows, oranges, and um, a little bit of green to do the leaves, which is an awesome project to do with um, preschoolers. Um, it's a little bit fun, not gonna lie. It's a little relaxing to do dot painting. <laughs> um, like I said, like right now, I'm just kind of tracing around shapes. You could do it a different way and actually, you know, do the whole painting. There's tons of different ways to do it. Um, and a lot of different ideas all over the internet on different ways to incorporate it into a lesson plan. Um, I mean, just looking at this one, you could do like twinkle, twinkle little star and do like an astronomy thing and make this part of it or um, something like that. So, I'm running out of time. That is a portion of what I worked on. So, have fun.